together a joyous occasion. Well, Sally and Catelyn know that their love for each other is a gift mutually given. They come here to exchange vows, but in a sense, these are not new vows. They made these promises to each other before. Every time they thought of the other first, every time the other's happiness came before their own, they are simply affirming their love before us and before God. A strong love is not exclusive, but inclusive. Sally and Catherine want to share this love with us, with all of us, but they particularly want to share their love with Kevin. While Mr. Corey gave the bride away, Sally and Catherine want everyone to know that Kevin has given his full approval that this marriage was a family decision. I'm very happy to officiate as Sally and Catherine marry each other. As the vows they are exchanging, are intensely personal, so are the words they use to make them. Sally and Catelyn have written their own vows. If you please face each other. Catelyn. I love you. And I want to spend my life with you. That's the most important thing to me. To be able to spend my life with you no matter what. Yeah, I know the phone lines are down. Operator, I've been trying to tell you this is an emergency. Could you... Hey, Grant! Oh, wait, wait. Now, forget it, Operator! Bring me! has ever done for me the things that you have. No one has ever cared about me the way you do. We've had our trials, and there have been times when I thought you were crazy to stay with me. But when I thought about writing these vows, I realized that those aren't the first things that come to mind when I think about you. You give of yourself. It's as if you see my needs as more important than your own. I don't have to vow to be with you through sickness and health, or for richer or poorer. I just want to. I do vow to try to give up myself the way you do. I love you, Captain. And you make me love the life around me. Captain Ewing, do you take Sally Frame to be your lawfully wedded wife? Yes. Yes, I do. I do. I don't want you running out of me like that. You understand me, babe? Now, I'm here to help you. I do. Now that we know where we're going, we're gonna make it. Those things never start on time anyway. Brittany, please don't look at me like that, okay? I do. I do. You really think so? I wouldn't let you go if I didn't think everything would be all right. Oh, Josh, you think I'm being silly, don't you? No, it's just surprising. I've never heard you talk like this before. I'm never scared of anything. Look at the way you ride horses. Yeah, horses are different. They have reins. I'm in control. Boats don't. Yeah, this isn't a boat. This is a ship. You're changing the subject. That's right. It'd be different if you were coming along. I know. I know. I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. Look. We're gonna miss it. Where's your dad? He's downstairs in the cabin packing a luggage away. Oh, good luck. The trunk's are bigger than that room down there. It is not. It is not, is it? No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. Someday we're gonna be traveling first class. Oh, Josh, I don't need to go first class. I know you don't need first class, but you need your own place. None of this being separated stuff. You're right, I do. Just give me a little time. I'll get some money together. I know you will. Then you can do whatever you want. You go buy sofas and draperies and all that. <laughs> Great. That sounds real nice. Yeah, you know what's going to happen sooner than you think. You wait and see. You just wait and see. Come here. Hey. Uh... 
don't you go doing anything too special in the next five days. I don't want to miss anything. Okay? Five days, he'll probably be walking. Yeah. You can buy him a pony, wait and see. Come on, Josh, he's still a baby. Hey, he's our baby. He's born to ride. Isn't that right? I love you. Listen, it's gonna be all right, okay? Just think about that home I'm gonna get you. Okay? You really mean that, don't you? Yeah, I do. Really. Won't be long now. I just saw a sign. Ten more miles to Northwood. to you, my eternal love. With this ring, I pledge to you my eternal love. By the power vested in me by this state and the love of God Almighty, I now pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss the bride. prettiest bride I've seen since I got married. Oh. And to the luckiest guy I know. May they always be as happy as they are right now. Yeah. And give Sally lots of patience, because she's going to need it. Well, I just call him like I see him. And I would like to to Catlin. Thank you for making my little girl so happy. Oh, Aww. my pleasure. <laughs> now, we have a toast, right, Kevin? Okay, go. To the lady of the house. Oh, yeah. 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 What about me? Mm. Cheers. 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 Hey, now for the dancing. Oh, there's no power. All right, we don't have a record player. I can sing? Oh, oh you <laughs> You know I gave up a career at the Met for med school. Really? Right, have you heard her sing? <laughs> Good Sally. Cute, Sally. Real Catelyn? Yeah. The gang is mother's all pitched in and we got you something. And you will probably want to open it right now. Oh, well, we were going to wait to do that later. Well, it, it was just an idea we had. Um, uh, what's up, Maisie? <laughs> Something's about Yeah? yeah. <laughs> Not exactly. Oh! oh. Perfect. And we made you some tapes. Oh. You guys, thank you, uh, Perry. Uh, That's so nice. Let me see. Want to dance? Oh, happy the Friday musical. All right, let's see how this thing works. Play. Oh, nice. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. 
here. Ada, have you been crying? Me crying? I never cry at weddings. Liz cries at weddings. <laughs> Where is Liz? I haven't seen her. She's over there by the door. She looks worried. Well, come to think Worried? Liz loves me worried. Loves it. But do you remember the time? Honey, are you okay? Yes, have fun. I'm just watching. More champagne? No, you go ahead. I'll be right back. Okay. You feel kind of uh, like odd man out? No, I'm fine. Hi, Mom. Hi, Grandma. Hi, sweetheart. Don't you look lovely? Thank Hi, you. Corey. Hi. I thought Jamie told me you had to work tonight. Uh, no, that's my sister, MJ. I'm Kathleen. Oh, I'm sorry, I have a stupid. No big deal. I'm going to have some air. Excuse me. Mom. Now, wait a minute, hon. Let her get some air, okay? Mac will talk to you. Oh, gee, I hope Rachel's all right. Yeah, she looks fine. I don't know, she acts so weird. Everything's so weird, Perry. <laughs> I guess this hasn't been easy for her. Rachel, look. This is Alan's wedding. We're not going to talk about problems. All right, but let me just say one thing. Don't get down on yourself, Mac. I mean, this has to be a very different time for you. It would take a seat not to lose patience. Well, I feel the anger well up. Then I say to myself, it's not her fault. She doesn't choose to forget. Mac, she didn't forget. She just can't remember. There's a difference. You're right. Thank you. Hey, look, Alice. <laughs> Everyone's having such a great time. Yeah, I know. Not exactly, though. Look, Kent Liz looked forward to this just about more than anyone. Look at her. I just can't figure out what's wrong with her. You've been asked to understand a great deal lately. My saying, love me, Rachel. No matter how much I want to do that, I don't have the right to ask it. You're a whole new person to me. I'm just learning about you, about myself. But it's very difficult for me to know what that's like. Can you try? I try. Thank you. Well, it becomes you so. I'll leave you to your candlelight. Mac. Do you think they'll miss us very much if we were to sit in here together for a while? You know something? I don't care if they do. tell you what to do. Oh, right. But don't you think it's time you thought about changing? Into what? You don't want to get behind your schedule. Aunt Liz. Well, you wouldn't want to miss your plane. Aunt Liz, I've been married for uh, three hours now. I know if I try to get him out of here right now, I'll be divorced by morning. <laughs> now get out here and have a yes. good time. That's right. That's an order. Come on. You haven't had any champagne yet or anything. I'm going to have to pull over. I can't even see. Hold it. There's somebody there. That was close, mister. What are you trying to do? Get yourself killed? You folks are going to have to turn back. Uh, you can't, you can't. And now, the next part of Another World. I understand that 
You have to have time. Do you understand that I wish it were over? Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Very definitely. The only time things ever really worked for us was when we were totally honest with each other. Oh, I'm being honest. There is one thing I can say. I didn't remember who you were. I don't remember our life together. But I know you're a good man. And I know you're kind. And I feel safe with you. Good. Well, we should be getting back. In a minute. I'll go ahead. Good-looking family, don't you think? Is it okay for me to say that? 
Since you're a part of my family. Sure. You know, sometimes when I'm talking to my friends about you, they'll ask, is that your little boy? Yeah. Yeah. And I say no, but I wish he was. You do? Mm -hmm. I want you to know how much I love you. And I'm going to do my best. I know that, Captain. You know what? I think we're going to be okay. You know what else? When I get back from our honeymoon, we're going to sign you up for Little League. I'm not too good at it. Oh, well, you got to practice. We we'll practice every day. Okay. Captain. What? Sometimes I still miss my dad. Yeah, I know that. And I know I can't replace him. But I'm gonna try my best. Yes, sir. I'm gonna try my best. <laughs>